pitched as always with the most fervent fans in the country to support their team, the Durham Wasps, against the Heineken lead leaders, Air Bruins. Air sit at the top, following an unbeaten run of five matches, just a point ahead of Murrayfield and two ahead of Durham. But if Durham win today, they'll go top of the table, equal on points, but with a better goal difference. And with Durham's remarkable record of 36 regularly home games without defeat, it's on the cards. But Air have two aces in the pack, numbers 27 and 29. Two of their Canadian imports, who are the league's leading scorers. Tim Salmon is top point scorer with 43 goals and 63 assists. While second in the scoring is Kevin Conway, who's the league's leading goal scorer with 58 goals, and he's made 36 assists. Durham's top scorer is John Ciotti, another Canadian. And the Wasps are not only welcoming back their local boy, Anthony Johnson, who was top scorer of the Great Britain junior team, which won its group in the European Championships, but wishing him a happy birthday. He's 17 today. Well, the match started just a few minutes ago, and there was a great start for Air Bruins. John Kidd in front and then open net. Kenny Wells came through. An open net, a good pass from Johnny Kidd. Here he is wide open on the left hand side. He comes in. There is the net. Frank Cullen is down. It's 1 0 for Air Bruins. Well, pretty soon after, there was an equaliser. The match been going about a quarter of an hour. Let's now go live and join Alan Weeks. Thank you, Des, and you... Paul Tilly, in fact, Des, has just equalised for Durham Wasps, so it's even Stephen. One goal each, and back come Air Bruins. Oh! Out of the air by uh, Tim Salmon. And now, Glenn Hall, but he's robbed. The shot flicking through the puck is still loose. Out come Durham. They're shooting it out. They had to, the pressure was there. Well, it's been up and down. First of all, Air Bruins, and then Durham Wasp came back and eventually got that equaliser. 1-1. One, one. There's 12 minutes and 23 seconds to play in this first period. And so, this face off now with Tim Salmon, number 27 there for Air Bruins in the black strip. Out by Mike O'Connor, looking for Paul Smith, didn't get through. The puck is out of play, and once the puck goes out of the rink, then there's an automatic whistle and a face-off from where the puck was shot. So the face-off will be back alongside the Durham Watts net. Bill Hannant, the linesman, two linesmen, remember. And the referee is Alec Gibson. So, it's Salmon facing off with Paul Tilly who scored the equalising goal. Two Canadians, but they've been sent away. They didn't have their sticks on the ice. They're going to be flat on the ice when they're making the face-off. And Bill Hannett has sent away, called in two other players to take the face-off. This time it's Kevin Conway, number 29. And he's facing off with Paul Smith. Almost, but still there. That's not back, and it's a good one. Paul Smith has got the rebound. Smith! And it's there. Paul Smith! Durham's top British scorer comes through to make it 2-1 for Durham Wasps. He broke out of that end. Here's the shot on the net. Just comes through and just inside that near post, it's 2-1 now for Durham Wasps. And what a comeback. Paul Smith, as I said, the top British scorer for Durham Wasps, has put them in the lead. And, of course, uh, the, the Smith family, well, they own so many rinks up around here, and his dad is the manager of the rink. Well, for intense concentration, as is always necessary in this game, it's so fast, it's so quick, uh, just a slight mistake, as we saw there, and a goal comes. However, Bernie McCrone is going to smother that one. So Bernie McCrone, who's got a goal against average per game of 6.34. He's six in the goalies' averages. Tending the net for Air Bruins. Keith Franklin is the linesman. 
18 is Paul Tilly. Well, those face-offs have got to be won because you saw a shot on the net. It was off the net, but they had possession and they got the shot away. So far, Durham Wasps have had six shots on the goal and Air Bruins have only had two, but they scored on one of them. And, of course, Durham Wasps have scored twice. Good pass. Here's Conway. Slid away there. And Paul Smith caught that in the face, I thought. And shaking his head. Well, the, 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 puck, the puck came up very sharply off the boards and he's gone off. Looked to me as though he caught the puck in the face. So Paul Smith, the goal scorer, he seems to be okay. Well, he looks okay. So the face off now is back in the Durham was set. Floated down the rink. And there's a bit of interference there, I would have thought. However, the play goes on, and Big John Kidd goes in after it. Frank Killam missed that shot, that puck as it went around behind the net. Ian Cooper. Peter Johnson trying to find Ian Cooper. And Durham have now started to move. They're coming forward a lot. Wells just floats it down. Picked up by Anthony Johnson. 17 years of age today. And puts it out well. Picked up by Stephen Johnson. Tried to find Anthony Johnson. Puck trapped. It'll be a face-off. If the referee loses sight of the puck, then he blows up and has a face-off at the nearest spot to where the... Uh, where the puck is trapped. Well, Air took the lead, but now they're trailing. They've got um, just under 10 minutes to play. And out come Air Bruins. John Kidd. Colin Gibson shooting it in. But Frank Killer not taking any chances at all. At the early stages of the game, there were a lot of loose pucks in front of that net, and you cannot afford that happening, and now Frank Killen is uh, smothering almost anything that comes up his end, which is right under these circumstances with these sharp shooters from air in opposition. Aaron Wasps, Stephen Cooper. And that puck is still in that air Bruins end. Jim Daly with it. That's John Kidd. Oh, picked up well. Stephen Cooper. Off the netting at the back. Ian Cooper floating it back in again. Oh, here's a chance! Oh, good stop. It's underneath the goalie. Well, the chance was there. Coming in with only the goalie to beat there. Nobody covering him at all. And Bernie McCrone did well. He really did. Bernie, 22-year-old from Air. His uh, saves percentage is 84.8 .8 on the shots that he has on the net. Steve Slaughter. Come away. Salmon. Salmon going. That looked to be offside, but it wasn't. A snap shot from air is deflected, picked up by Paul Tilly. Still a bit loose, and now it's Paul Smith, still in there. Here's a chance, three men in front, one man. And the net off its moorings, so the referee had to blow up. Well, there was some excellent play by air on that occasion, but at the crucial moment, the net, the net was off its moorings. There are two holes in the ice, two small spikes underneath the uprights, and they keep the net in position, but not solid, of course. If it was solid and the player hit it, well, it could be a serious injury. So, the face-off is just to the left of the Durham Wasps net. They're leading 2-1. Paul Tilly facing off with Kevin Conway. Paul Smith looking for it, John Ciotti lost it. It's still there, Steve Slaughter on the net, and it's very 
very, very quick move by Frank Killen. The putt was there. The shot comes in. It's lying loose. And he, very quick, a good dive, good stop, Frank Killen. Durham now. Oh, good pass. Smith trying to get the pass across. Till is with him. Paul Tilly, number 18. Trying to shoot it in. And find Ciotti. Didn't find him. Good pass. Conway going after it, but O'Connor has it. Makes the pass out. This is Ciotti. O'Connor for Durham. Taken out of the air by Ciotti, but it was above the level of the shoulders. Uh, you can't play the putt above the level of your shoulder with the stick. If you do, there's an automatic whistle. That's John Ciotti, the uh, top scorer for Durham Wasps. So a face-off now in the Air Bruins end. Their captain, Colin Gibson, taking it and getting it away. John Kidd. He's one of the biggest players in the game. He stands about six foot three, but he's lost it out to uh, Ian Cooper. Now it's air. Starting to put the pressure on Durham. They're keeping it in that end. Not getting out. It's still in there. It's a pass. And what a chance for John Kidd. Stephen Cooper. Good pass. Colin Gibson. Elite pass back, but still, Stephen Johnson, nobody in front to take the pass. This will be an icing if it's played by a Durham player. It is. Now, you can't shoot the puck from one end of the rink to the other just to ease the pressure, unless, of course, one of your own players comes from his own end of the rink and gets there before the defender. If the defender plays it first, it's a whistle, it goes back to the other end of the rink, the face-off is there, and that's called icing. So, he's Franklin facing off, Stephen Johnson number 10, that was a good one, you see you've got to win possession when that puck is dropped, it's just not a question of the puck dropping, you've got to win possession, and in fact, Durham Wasps have won 20 of the face-offs so far, and again, Stephen Cooper, and it's gone back to Ian Cooper. Ian Cooper to Stephen. Good poke check. Coming forward, Colin Gibson. Jim Daly trying to float it in. Offside. Remember, in an offside in ice hockey, if the puck goes over that blue line, you can see on the right of your picture, if the player's skates are over that blue line before the puck, then he's offside. The puck must precede the player going into that attacking zone. So, around the back, and down the boards. Johnson. Wells holding it. No check. That's a good pass! Didn't quite collect it. That was Ian Cooper, but he's kept it in. Going after it is Stephen Johnson. That puck is still bouncing around in front, but picked up by Keith Wells. Kenny Wells, I should say. That is offside, but as Air have possession, the referee has passed it down. This time it will be for icing because it went down into the other end of the rink and over that line, so it's face off back in the air end. Well, we've got six minutes and 48 seconds to play on this first period, and it's certainly up and down. 2 1, Durham in the lead, but Air always looking for those opportunities around the net. At Ali Brennan there, the bench coach for Air Bruins, played for Great Britain. His brother also played for Great Britain, they played for Paisley. Now it's uh, Air again. Good play. Oh, well intercepted by Ciotti. But Ciotti beaten again by Steve Slaughter. And there is a whistle by the referee. And there's a hooking penalty. 
so. Slaughter. We might be able to see that. There's the hooking. And he'll spend two minutes in the penalty box. And during that time, the uh, Durham Wasps will have this man advantage. This is the power play situation when they have a man advantage. And if the goal is scored, then the player comes straight back onto the ice, the penalty having been adjudged to have served. So now we have Durham Wasps with a man advantage, the power play situation, a goal advantage, and can they increase it? They should do. Well, the puck in that end. Durham have got to get possession and keep it in that end. Well, there's the time on the penalty. The time on the period is six minutes and three. Oh, what a chance! Paul Tilly just wide of that right-hand net. Now, Killen comes out. Durham have got to keep taking it to them. Oh, intercepted well. Stephen Cooper. Still candied by Ciotti, but broken up by the air defence. Seconds ticking away on this penalty. Just under a minute to play on the penalty, and Durham have not really got into that end and got themselves organised. Well, that must be another penalty. They are now going to find themselves two men short. Well, as he was going up the ice, there's the situation. And so Tim Salmon, the top scorer for Air, goes into the penalty box. Well now, can Durham increase it? They have now got two men in the box. They've got a two-man advantage on the ice. It's five against three out players. Air, in fact, are the best in the Premier Division when they've been shorthanded, but this is a two-man shorthanded situation. Well, Paul Smith loading it across. They've now got two men advantage. Can they make it pay? It's a defenseman here. Oh, neatly taken. Should be. Has it? Freddie McCrow smothered it. They've still got to pass that puck around, and they've got plenty of ice to do it in now. Bernie McCrone smothered it. And the face-off now alongside his net. Paul Tilly, number 18. Back to the point. Down the boards again into the corner. This is Ciotti. Paul Tilly's out in front. Paul Smith is in front. There's a snap shot. Oh, good stop. It's there, though. The, I think the referee's, the referee's whistle have blown prior to that puck going into the net. Bernie McClone had it. In fact, he must have dropped it and it was popped into the net, but the whistle had blown. There's the shot. Bernie has it, but he dropped it. But the whistle had blown as soon as the referee lost sight of the puck. Still 2-1 for Durham was. Still they have the two-man advantage. 23 seconds on the first penalty. That's for Slaughter. And again, the puck is, the net is out of position, so it's going to be another face-off. But Durham won't worry about that. They want to keep that puck in that end and make use of those two extra men. Well, we've got uh, the linesman putting that puck back in position. And we have... One of the linesmen now, I think it's uh, Keith Franklin, who's having a go at uh, the hole in which the spivot from the bottom of the goal post goes into the ice. Here it is, you see, we just see it, and it goes down into the ice, and now we're going to have the face-off. Well, the seconds uh, on the penalty, there's about 15 seconds left on the first penalty to Steve Slaughter. Remember that... Durham will still have a man advantage when he comes back, and there's four minutes and 50 seconds on this first period. 
Well, Ciotti has it. He's got Cooper in front. Cooper floating around. Paul Smith right in front of the net. There's the pass to Cooper. Stephen Cooper. There's a snapshot. Good stop. Hit the post. Again, Van der Kroon has it. And Slaughter is back on the ice. But that one of the shots certainly hit the post. The second one. Here's the slap shot from the blue line. Goes through. Bernie McCrone gets it. And then it goes through and up. And the rebound is trapped by Bernie McCrone. Still Durham have the man advantage, remember, with Slaughter back on the ice. So. Conway and Ian Cooper, Conway number 29. And Johnny Kidd shooting it down the ice. When there's a man in the box, there isn't an icing call. When they're short-handed. This is Mike Coconna. He's waiting. Steve Cooper. Peter Johnson, neatly picked up. And Air now defending well with that four man against five out players. This is O'Connor, and he's really moving. Co Connor is really going. Johnson, O'Connor, all the way, and it's still bouncing. There it is. It was Ian Cooper that hit the bouncing, but, but the referee has called it back. The referee has called it back. The net was off its moorings again, and now this is becoming a problem. Well, we can have a look at that. The pass out is knocked away. And as it comes down, there's the net. The net is off its moorings before that puck crossed the red line. Well, that now is a serious problem. That's still 2-1. And over in, over in the box, five seconds to go on his penalty. It is Tim Salmon. Well, I think Air are a little, little lucky that it's only still 2-1 and 3 minutes and 30 seconds to play on this period. This time it goes through, Bernie McClone saw it all the way and caught it beautifully. Tim Salmon is back, Air Bruins are back at full strength. Bernie McCrone made some, certainly made some good stops during that period. So, uh, Durham certainly had the opportunities to increase their lead, but Bernie McCrone and perhaps the goal saved them. Now, down the boards, back in again. John Kidd, number two, going for it. Stephen Johnson taken out of the play. Steve Slaughter for Airbridge. It's still in there. Picked up by Dave Curl. Tony McCrone has it again. And so we've got three minutes just over. Three minutes and six seconds on this first period. And Durham keeping that puck in the Air Bruins end. Both teams at full strength, remember now. And Paul Tully, number 18, facing off. Faced off with Conway. Picked up by Paul Smith, the loose puck. Paul Smith floating it in. He was over the red line, so he can do it from there. Ooh, crunch! That was Steve Slaughter trying to take out Mike O'Connor. It's a chance! No, Slaughter. Puck has gone loose into the corner, picked up by Paul Smith, number 11. Paul Smith, neatly played back to O'Connor. O'Connor, a floater. That's Big John Kidd, number two, turning it back and turning it out. And picked up by number 17, O'Connor. Again around the back. In the hall, the other defenseman. That's Paul Smith. Paul Tilly, advanced well for him, that was okay. Puck didn't go over his feet, well on the right side, oh what a great save and a great shot! 
Well, that was a superb catch there by Frank Kellen. That one would looked as though it was labelled just inside. It's a slap shot going about 120 miles now. He just leapt out and caught it beautifully. Good stuff. Good shot. So Frank Kellen, that stopped what was almost certainly a dead third. But it wasn't, of course. So it's still 2-1. For Durham was, and they're taking it out. Paul Smith. Ciotti try to get it back for Smith. Now it's John Kidd for air. Tim Salmon, he's moving. Salmon really moving. The pass back, it's loose. Picked up by Ciotti. Ciotti's got Paul Smith on the left. There's no doubt that... Uh, no problems there, that was a mix-up between two of their own but Conway and Ciotti, uh, the two Canadians, are not, uh, not certainly not enamoured of each other. Ciotti, the two Canadians, and Salmon, well, they'll be uh, sitting out some, uh, some time in the box. Mike O'Connor, the captain of the Baron Moss there. So. Well, the referees are still uh, finding that the players on the ice are having a long chat. Now, uh, there's the situation, and that's where the situation arose with that little thump after Bernie McCrone had trapped the puck. So John Kidd and Ciotti for Darren Wasps are the two players in the box. Both teams a man short. And we have about 1 minute and 26 seconds of this period to play. 1 minute 26, the time on the game on the right, the time on the penalty, 2 minutes on the left. So they're even Steven. With one man off each. They're in possession. Conway, holding it back for Slaughter, Steve Slaughter. Trying to find his man, finds Conway, a well picked up. Johnson taken out. Now we have a two-man break. Offside. Paul Tilly had gone over the line before the puck. And as he skated past the net, Benny McCrone's stick got in his way. He didn't like it. And, but the referee did go and have a word with Bernie McCrone. Face off outside the Air Bruins defence zone. Just under a minute to play now. Still in there. Johnson, backhand, knocked away by McCrone up into the crowd. 48 seconds to play and another face-off in the air Bruins end. Well, Durham, with the pressure on now, still have that one goal advantage, remember. 2-1 the score. And Paul Tilly, number 18 is about to face off for them does it's a good pass by Slaughter this is O'Connor into the corner and O'Connor coming out with it 30 seconds left on this period Smith and Stephen Cooper Flick down the boards, comes to O'Connor. There's Tilly in possession. In front is Johnson. Oh, he hit the side of the net. Stephen Johnson, the side of the net. Just eight seconds remaining, and another great chance there for Durham Wasps to go further into the lead. Take him back. Here's the pass. And there's the chance with, with Bernie McCrone down, but it hit the outside of the net, and it's still 2-1.
Stephen Johnson. That was a chance, all right, for Steve. But the face off with just eight seconds left to play on this period. Paul Smith to take the face off. And back to Cooper. And the second's ticking away, but they're still there. That is the hooter for the end of the first period. Durham was probably had uh, more of the play. They didn't capitalize, but they still lead by two goals to one. Right, Alan, we'll be... Alan Weeks again. And it's Durham who are now attacking the goal to the right. Remember that both teams have a man in the box. There's Ciotti from Durham and John Kidd from Air Bruin. So we've got 23 seconds or so to go on that penalty. They both went off at the same time. And it's the, the puck trapped on the boards by Paul Tilly just outside the Air Bruins defence zone. Tremendous atmosphere in this rink, as there always is at Durham. Very, very rabid supporters. And Johnson still has it. Johnson with a snapshot. Benny McCone didn't move, and that puck got past him, but the puck comes out. Both the players waiting to come back on the ice as Air start to play. The slap shot and it's way up. Out of the rink. And both teams are now back at full strength. As that shot went away, both the players came back. The teams are at full strength. The score, remember, is Durham was to Air Bruins one. In that first period, Durham had 16 shots on the net to Air's three. So that shows the amount of pressure they've been keeping on the... Uh, Bernie, Bernie McCrone in the Air Bruins net. And Durham won most of the face-offs as well. Remember that the face-offs, it's very important to get that win, win that face-off and get the puck. And it's Ciotti now facing off with John Kidd, who's gone across with O'Connor, back around the boards. Oh, neatly picked up. This is Paul Smith. He's got Ciotti on the right. That's Ciotti. But it didn't bounce well for him. Out of play. And it was John Hester, the new signing from uh, Glasgow, playing for air. Number 16, who put it over the boards. So again, we have Salmon facing off with Tilly. And that's Hester against the boards. Well, the, uh, the cut was very loose then. But the referee has called it back. And it's going to be a face-off. And this face-off, again in that Air Bruins end. So Durham once again start putting on the pressure. Paul Tilly, 18. And this time it's coming out. This is Salmon. Salmon dropped it, but it's picked up by Ciotti. Paul Smith going with him. Offside. Paul Smith had gone over the line before Ciotti's pass, and so there'll be a face-off just outside the Air Bruins end. That's Paul Tilly. So we've got the face-off just outside again, outside that air end, and the pressure on air virtually all the time now. Tilly and Sam. Hester knocked it down, but it's back. In Hall, back to Hall again. Trying to find Ciotti. This is Hester. Out in front. It's not bouncing well. There'll be no whistle on that. He pass. Salmon. Got Kidd with him. And it's clear. Out to the Durham end. Hester, good pass. Kidd. Again, that puck loose, and it's O'Connor turning it back. Now it's Paul Smith for Durham. Smith, slap shot. Not far off the target. Ciotti. Turns it back to the point. Oh, good shot. That was just off the right-hand post. Puck still there. That's Ciotti. 
And again, Tilly keeping it there. The backhand shot by Sciotta deflected by Steve Slaughter. On the board, the puck is loose. Beat stick handling. Brought out. Conway taken out of the play. Slaughter going in for it with Cooper. And a face off. The air are not really getting out of there and uh, often enough to make any impression on this Durham team at the moment. Nearly all the pressure in their own end. And Durham wouldn't like to say they're getting the advantage of the bouncing. The bouncing puck is causing a few discerning moments. But there it is, three inches across, one inch thick. Again, Johnson away, bounced high out of the ring, so a face off just alongside the Durham net. Well, all the pressure now is uh, that's Bob McKinnon, and now air are in the Durham net, still there. But now it's out again. That's the Reed turning it back. Well played. Ian Cooper, number one for Durham. Back into the corner. Johnson, up bouncing. Good pass. But picked up. By Dave Curl. Johnson tried to turn it back because Ian Cooper was in front and wide open. Johnson again. Even Johnson in that corner, but now it's there coming out. A slop shot. That wasn't difficult for uh, Frank Kellum. It's an easy one. He caught it and he threw it away, but the referee was very sharp on the whistle again. And there's going to be a penalty. Stephen Johnson. Well, it looks to me as though uh, Stephen Johnson must have said something to the referee after that quick blow on the whistle. And so Alec Gibson had no, no alternative but to send him to the box for two minutes. Now, Air now have the power play. And the man advantage, can they make it play? <laughs> Cooper. It's John Hester turning it round the boards for air. Stephen Cooper again. Remember that Durham, as they are a man short, can shoot the puck down the ice. There's no icing if you've got a man advantage. Oh, good play, Conway. So O'Connor shooting it down. Well, our air have actually got the best record for power play goals in the Heineken League. But at this moment, it's Durham who are really doing well in defending. John Hester. Taking his time, as they should. Just under a minute on the penalty. Conway, and again, the loose cut picked up by Paul Telly and turned down the rink. Hester. Slaughter now. This is Salmon, and he's really moving. Salmon round the back. In front, there's a chance. Oh, it's in. It's Rolled in. Conway got it. I have to say that after all that pressure, that was really quite a lucky goal. So round the back, it was bouncing. There's a shot, kicked away, came off the post, and it started to bounce and roll. There it is, coming out in front. There it is, look, hits the post, goes out, 
and starts to roll into the net. He just can't quite reach it, and it gets there. So, Ayer, who I said had the best record in the Heineken League for power play goals, have scored one and makes it 2-2. Well, now, even Steven again. Air coming forward again. Offside. Well, now the tension building up inside this Durham ice rink. A lot of supporters from air. Face off just inside the air end of the rink. Alan Gibson and Stephen Johnson took the face off. Around again. Puck out of play. And the back and a face off just to the left of that air net. lost it down into the air end <laughs> icing and a face off back alongside the Durham was end Stephen Cooper Stephen Cooper the young player is playing well on defence and the face off to the left of that. Aaron was net. So the face off is going to be taken by Kevin Conway. He's out by Ciotti. Paul Smith going after it. Steve Slaughter's there first. Slaughter turns it back. Poke check by Ciotti, but it's still against the boards and it's still in. In front, in front, but it's out. Not yet, though. Paul Tilly. Puck trapped, face off. Durham now starting to take it back to that air end. Number 14 there on defence. Glyn Hall, big fella. Waiting for that pass back to perhaps get a shot on the net. Don't win it though, Air Burns win it. Ciotti, trapped again. Darren's going to keep it in that end. As long as it's in that end, well, the danger's on the Air Burns net. Tilly and Salmon facing off. The shot, neatly taken, it was just outside. Benny McCrone didn't have much, much problem with it. It was off the net anyway. Here's the shot. From the pipe. Slapping it now, but it was outside. However, the rebounds from the backboards can be very dangerous. On that occasion, not. O'Connor to Glyn Hall. That will be an icing, unless Paul Smith gets there first. He didn't. <laughs> So it's a face-off now back alongside the Durham West end. Paul Smith, scorer of Durham West second goal. Made an assist as well, so he's got two points in this game so far. Well, the uh, Air Bruin supporters are really uh, making themselves heard now. That's the face-off. Now I'm going to get away. Conway. Johnny Kidd shot wide of the far post. Pass. It'll be 
no whistle. He was over the red line before he passed it in. Now it's lost uh, sight of the puck. So it's another face-off. Both teams changing. There's, uh, there's a lot of up and down play. Number uh, six players on the ice at the time. Goldminder, two defensemen, three forwards. And can change without a whistle as long as the player coming off the ice is off the ice before the man going on. Now the most teams change with the whistle and that's what happened there. Well, Mr. Reed is a bit caught there. Cooper. Hunt in by Johnson. Still going. Stephen Cooper. Still has it. Take it out against the boards there. Very hard. Well, puck is loose again. Crunch. There's a few hard uh, checks going in there. And another one the point. There won't be a whistle for Rising because there was a player there who could have played the puck. Now, well, it must have been on the uh, right side of the red line. However, the face-off will be back alongside the air net. Refreshment, and they need it because they're under pressure all the time, the Air Bruins. Just being forced to shoot it out at the moment, Stephen Cooper. Johnson sort of overdid the stick handling a bit. Johnson being taken out and Bernie McCrone in there quickly on the loose puck. He's not letting any rebounds get away. Rebound off the pads, rebound off the backboards could always be dangerous to a man standing open in front of the net. Quick flip and there it is. However, Bernie McCrone has been covering well in this period and he did well in the first period as well. 11 minutes and 12 seconds to go in this second period. And the play still based. The call, a shot on the net, punched away by Bernie McCrone. This will be an icing. Has to be. So, back we go again. Franklin and the face off. Paul Tilly going to take it. Number 18 with his back to us there. Tim Salmon. Salmon. Well, Conway and Salmon getting very mixed up there, but the puck is still loose. And we have a whistle. The whistle is for offside. So it's offside, and so the face off just outside Durham was then. There's a chance. Paul Smith, he's got Ciotti with him, and Ciotti just didn't take the pass. Lynn Hall with a shot. Oh, another chance. That was a rebound. That could have been very dangerous. The puck is still loose. Paul Smith has it. Pushed away. Salmon. Conway. Salmon. Puck is still bouncing. That's O'Connor turning it back. It won't get down there. Not before Paul Smith. Smith gets there first. So the puck is still in play. And it's still bouncing. Now it's Paul Smith. Here's O'Connor. O'Connor waiting for Smith to get out before he went in. No offside. In goes Tilly. Back to the point. Here's Ian Cooper. Oh, just off the net. 
Back to Glenn Hall. It's still there. Durham with the pressure on. That's John Kidd with a good pass. It's a two-man break. Salmon gone in front. Salmon! Oh, it's underneath Frank Killen. That was a great chance for Tim Salmon. It really was. Well, he's off. Two-man break. Conway with the pass. Salmon coming in. And Frank Killen underneath him there. Well, that was Air Bruins' best chance. It really was. But the score remains 2-2. And the face-off is just alongside the net. Nine minutes and 32 seconds of this second period of play. Back to the point. Knocked away. This is Ian Cooper. Just flipping it through. Comes back to Stephen Cooper. Around the boards. Still there, Reed shot. Stephen Cooper. Around. It's still in front. And now. Johnson. Johnson. The pass didn't come through. Well, Sir Reed still has it, but now Johnson has it again in front. They can't get it out in front of that net. They're being held behind and around the boards now. Air Bruins on the attack. Just ran away from him. Easily picked up by Dave Curl, but it's still loose. The shot. Oh, good stop by Frank Killen. Knocked it away. Reed. Now Air are taking it to Durham. There's no doubt about that. They're getting much tighter attacks. And this will not be an icing, but he was down there first. He still has it. Johnson in front is Ian Cooper. Back to the point. Stephen Cooper. And a push there by Alistair Reid, but there's no whistle. Durham with the pressure on now. And Ian Cooper, he was on the net. On the, actually, on the ice, on the net. It's a goal for Durham Wasps. Three goals to two. Ian Cooper, the scorer. Well, the pass out came. There he was on the net, on the deck, and it's 3-2. Ian Cooper. Well, that's his eighth goal in this Heineken League. And the score now is 3-2 for Durham Wasps who were getting a bit of pressure there from Air Bruins, but now they're in the lead once again. We've got seven minutes and 52 seconds of this second period to go. Well, Air, perhaps one might say even slightly against the run of the play because they've been really attacking, but now they've got to come back again. Tilly, it's it up again. Tilly eased out by McAfee. Ciotti, a bouncing puck. Conway, off by Killen, that's Kidd, picked up by O'Connor for Durham. In goes Ciotti. Net bouncing around again. Paul Smith, quick, quick check. And the pressure off, they've got to come out. Lynn Hall taking his time, that's O'Connor. To Hall. John Kidd. A ball again to O'Connor. Good pass to Smith. That will be an icing unless he gets there first. He did. He did. He touched it. The net. Here comes again. Hall. And that, that. And the net was being pushed again from the back. So, Bernie McCrone, perhaps a wee bit fortunate, perhaps. There's the shot coming, but look, the net being pushed at the back there. And it didn't come off its mooring, so if it had gone in, it would have been a goal. However, six minutes, 48 seconds to play on this period. Karen. 
keeping the pressure on. Dylan Cooper floating it in. And the Johnson as Dave Tell. Cooper. Ian Cooper turning it back. Just out. And there now passing it. Even that time getting organized. The pass. Good interception there. Jim Daly. It's a chance! Oh, good stop by Bernie McCrone. Came out at the right moment. Knocked an eye another one. Durham now have got right back into the attacking mode. Oh, Bernie McCrone had to make two stops there. Well, here's Bernie. Got a bit of it. Knocked it away. Came out very quickly there. And again. Durham has had eight shots on the net so far as Air Bruins come out now. Well, it happens. The puck slid off the end of his stick just as he was about to pass it. Neat turn. O'Connor. O'Connor just floating it. Taken out of the air by Reed. Reed with a slap shot into the corner. Back again. Loader deflected into the corner again. They're not getting the shots on the net at the moment. Stephen Johnson, good shot, deflected again. And Bernie very quick to smother it. Anthony Johnson was coming in after that play, looking for the rebound. But, uh, Bernie smothered it again. Bernie's name, by the way, is John, but everyone calls him Bernie, and the record his name is John. So, Bernie, or if you're listening, Mum John. Face off will be taken again. Paul Tilly. So it's going to be Tim Salmon. Loose. Air coming out. Johnny Kidd going in for it. And he's got a chance. In front. Oh. Picked away by Killen. Puck is still loose. The puck is still loose. It's still loose. Frank Killen's on top of it. Well, Big John Kidd was also down on the ice. But Frank Killen had smothered it. And the referee had blown. Four minutes and 49 seconds of this second period ago. 3 2 the score. Oh, almost out of the air by Conway. Down the boards. It's still in there. Salmon. McCaffrey keeping it there. That's Salmon out in front. That's Conway, number 29 for air. Back into the corner. Big John Kidd. Still kept in, Conway, Kidd. Steve Slaughter in there, attacking as well. McCaffey on defence. Puck is out of play. Bruins, the Raw coming up, because they've got the pressure on now. Just over four minutes to play in the second period. And now Conway, the leading goal scorer in the league, to take the face off with Stephen Johnson. Johnson puts it round the boards. Now, can he get there before it crosses the line? It's played, and it's kept in. A chance for Durham. Still around there. Here's Johnson again. Looking for the man in the space. There wasn't one. Air Bruins coming out. Salmon. 
beats Dick Hanley by seven, but good covering by Dave Curl. Curl again. Once again, it's a chase for the puck. And Anthony Johnson, still going in there. It's really up and down now. The pass, still in there. Kid keeping it in. Played away by Dave Curl. Pushed in by McAfee. Out. They've got to come out now. Conway. Slaughter. Offside. Just two minutes and 56 seconds remaining. The timing situation very precise. So, the face-off will be outside the Durham was zone with air finding a lot of extra energy in the last two or three minutes, keeping the play in that Durham end. Meet. Ciotti. That's around the defenseman. Ciotti's still there. Came out to the wrong man. Ciotti gets it again. Doesn't get over through in front though. Cathcart shot. That was a very difficult one. And the puck is out of the ring. Well, Frank Killen had one which came up very high. Two minutes and 33 seconds. The very high one was way out, but of course the rebound from the netting behind the goal put the puck bad in front again, but there was nobody there to snap it up. Has to, uh, has to smother it. And they're really going to try and look for that equaliser. It's eight shots to Durham and seven shots to air now in this period on the goal. And remember, a shot on the goal is one that would go in the net. O'Connor taking his time. And now starting a rush. That was very close to being offside, but Bernie McCrone has it. Two minutes and 12 seconds. McCrone came out quick, just ahead of Paul Smith, who was chasing that puck. Well, the... Durham have won most of the face-offs in this game so far, but I are coming back now into an attacking mode. Still going. Jim Daly. Taken out by Paul Smith. It's a hard game. When Smith hit the boards, we saw the boards move then. However, Smith is up. Daly's up. They look at each other, and they're on with the game. Perhaps a quiet word from uh, Keith Franklin. So now the face-off. Just under two minutes, that's Ali Brennan. He's got his team in there, he's the bench coach. The team coach is Steve Slaughter, who's out there on the ice, but Ali looks after things from the bench. Durham in possession. Telly, loading it down. O'Connor coming forward for some poor checking, but decides to go back. Good pass, this is Salmon. Neat play, but Salmon eased out. Stephen Cooper blocked him beautifully, but the shot puck is still in there. It's bounced off the back net. And again. Didn't get through. It has now. It's loose. And away. Well, they are getting those shots away, but not too many of them on the net. But there's a chance, and there it is. Big John Kidd is equalised. this crowd in an absolute uproar. John Kidd, the big fella, six foot three of him, standing in front of that net. There's the bouncer. It bounces. Kidd comes through, and it's 3-3. Three, three.
Well, there's only one minute and 13 seconds remaining on this second period. We're back where we started. O'Connor. Got in there by Paulson. Out again. In the last minute. Still air coming forward. Oh, it's loose! It's loose, but picked up by Paul Tilly. He's still in there. Oh, here come right back. But now, it's O'Connor. O'Connor's going to take a slap shot. He does! Off the net, but it bounced back. And it's in the back of the net, but on the outside, I'm sorry to say, as far as the Durham fans are concerned, and it's a face-off. So we've got now 33 seconds remaining. Well, they had the advantage, they've lost it. It's 3-3 and just 33 seconds to go on this second period. So, it's up just outside Airburn's end. Well picked up, Steve Slaughter, Slaughter, quick turn, still there, Paul Smith, the shot deflected. Huck is still loose behind the net, now it's trapped, and it'll be another face-off with just seven seconds remaining on this second period. Durham back in that air end. So, we've got Conway Paul Smith facing off the shot still there out come air there it is the buzzer for the end of the second period was up and down Durham had the most of the pressure then air came back and it was Big John Kidd who equalised for air before the end of the period. So, with 20, 20 minutes to play, one more period, it's 3-3. Three, three. Thank you, Des. Well, remember that Durham was unbeaten at home in league games for 36 matches. So, that's regular league games. Will they hold on? Air Bruins came back in that period. Although they only had 12 shots on the net, and nine shots on the net, they got the goals, they got two of them, and Air are known to be a good third period team. And it's Air now in possession. Slaughter down to John Kidd. Now Tilly. And Ciotti going in front, knocked away there by Bernie McCrone, and kicked away right up into the crowd. A good stuff. The last time these two teams played, and that was at air on December the 8th, the score was 7-7. Seven, seven. At the moment, it's 3-3. Three, three. Paul Tilly. And Conway. Kevin Conway. Players well inside the circle. They should be outside the circle, the other players. But Steve Slaughter gets it for air. That'll be an icing. Straight back again. Even if it's a good pass, then the player doesn't accept it. And it goes down over that line at the other end. Well, it's going to be an icing. That's what it is. About 19 and a half minutes, remember, every time the play stops, the clock stops. And the face off again. Tilly, number 18. Bernie McCrown snatched it out of the air. Another face off. Durham keeping it in that end. Face off. Durham in possession. 
Well kept in there by Paul Tilley. Ciotti, Ciotti tried to stick handle his way through. Lost it. Conway. He was over the red line when he shot that one in, so that doesn't go for an icing. O'Connor. Out of play. The pass was good, but it went up into the box on the far side of the rink. And the face-off now will be just outside the Durham Wasp defence zone. Well, 3-3 three, three the score. And Salmon. Slaughter. Conway, trying to find Salmon. Durham, waiting on that line for the attacks to develop. The pass, two man, Kidd, Salmon, tried to get the pass back, deflected. Lynn Hall. Well, that's on the net, so it won't go for an icing. Does take the pressure off, and... Uh, O'Connor was a bit lucky to get away with that. Still there. Now the referee has lost sight of the puck. And a push by uh, Steve Slaughter. Nothing more than a push. If it had been a punch, it might have been a penalty, but it was a push. Steve Slaughter on the right there. They're going in for a change. So the pace off now. Johnson, number 10. Down the boards. Again. It's over. Played. Icing. Neither team wants to take any chances with the score as it is. And they're getting that puck out of their own end as fast as they can. As I said, in that uh, second period, Durham had nine shots on the goal and Air had nine shots on the goal. But Air scored with two of them. Well, the puck is loose. Another one. Yeah, certainly don't intend to take any chances at this moment. They're getting rid of that puck, and mind you, every time they do, the face-off is back in their own end. So Durham have the advantage. If they do win the puck, they can get a shot on the net. Johnson, there's a shot. Bernie McCombe didn't move, and there was an empty net there around the boards. Cut by Jim Daly. That was well off the net. Didn't go far that time. Oh, neat turn by Cooper. And again. But this time a good poke check. Anthony Johnson, a good pass. That's... Did Johnson look to say he might have been held, but there was no whistle. Cooper keeping it in, but not quite. Bounced off the skates. Dave Curl floating it down. It's getting a bit hard. And in front! Oh! Well, a loose puck. There's going to be no icing on this. Even Cooper taking his time. Finding Ian. Ian Cooper, that is. Got in by Anthony Johnson, and Bernie McCrone has to smother it. Well, all the action is really in the air end. They're shooting it down, keeping the pressure away from their net. Durham now with their number one line on, and Paul Smith is going to take this face off. Is. A shot on the net. It's there! 
Deflected. It was Michael Todder who shot it. Deflected past Bernie McCrone. He had the play, had it covered, but it was Mike O'Connor. Or Durham Wasps who got the, the shot on the blue line. There's the pass. And deflectively. Durham Wasps take the lead. Four goals to three. 16 minutes and 32 seconds to play on this match. And O'Connor, the goal scorer. Tempting the, uh, the air player to come forward. That's Paul Smith going after it. And it's on the net again. Bernie McLean gets it. This is Conway. Salmon. Good shot. Only just outside the far post. And now Air have got to come out. Now they're starting to move. Slaughter. Just too far away from Salmon. Here's O'Connor again. Good play. Good pass, Paul Smith. That wasn't far outside the far post. O'Connor, waiting, has to wait. The puck is loose, and it's off the net by Andy Allen. Tim Salmon, Salmon with a shot. Knocked away, Frank Killen. Cleared it. Well, it's moving very, very fast now. Out of the rink. And a breather. Both teams changing. If they needed it, they were up and down, up and down. So we've got 15 minutes and 12 seconds. Just that one goal separating them. Face off in the Durham end. They have the one goal advantage. Johnny Gibson. Out comes Durham again, a two man break. Johnson in front. Bucket and the nets of its moorings. Well, you can see the long spigot has been put in there. At the net was up there it is down goes the net and it's a face on well it's a question of Suella Durham can get another one before they have the opportunity because they've been coming out but not very far The play, Stephen Johnson, they're picked up, and now it's air coming out. The pass, Jim Daly, Johnny Gibson, Daly tried to get it back in front, around the back. And there's a wee bit of a fracas in the corner of the rink. Two of the players got a bit involved. Well, we'll uh, see what the referee is going to uh, call it. Referee Alec Gibson. Dave Curl is going in. And so is Jim Daly. So the, the two of them will sit it out. And... There may have been a bit of animosity on the ice, but they look quite calm there, don't they? So the face-off with both men in the box. Both teams are land short. 14 minutes and 27 seconds to play. But neither team with a power play advantage. Steve Cooper almost got through. As Conway trying to float it away. Tilly keeps it in. Steve Cooper's at the back. Steve Cooper. Still has it. Has it now. Comes out to Steve Slaughter for air. There's a good pass. Salmon. 
didn't bounce well for him intercepted Steve Cooper again the pass intercepted picked up a slap shot it's bouncing they still in motion the pass Tilly to O'Connor shot good stop good save by McCrown it's still loose it is still loose but out they come oh there's a whistle well McCrown stopped that one well and air looked as though they were going to break out but the referee had lost possession of the puck lost sight of the puck I should say and that was close just knocked it away it was just labeled for inside that near post 13 minutes and 22 seconds on the game and about 55 seconds there it is on the penalty on the left both teams a man short remember Paul Smith coming in for the face off there it is all of it tied up and Smith trapping it against the boards. So another face off. Well, Durham have had six shots on the net to airs two in this third period so far. Outside the circle and away into the crowd. Another face off. Salmon is perhaps suggesting that it might have been shot out of the rink purposely. The face off is going to be outside the Air Bruins end. And again, it's going to be Salmon and Paul Smith to take the face off. Salmon on the left, and Paul Smith there, number 11, on the right. It's air now. Neat. It's two against three. Salmon tries the long way round. Smith turned it back. Smith has it again. O'Connor. Good pass. Oh, good play. Just ran away from him. In the hall. Here comes Conway. Salmon looking for sort slaughter. Ten seconds or so on that penalty now. O'Connor. O'Connor with a chance. Off the net with a backhand. Both teams at full strength again now. Pass. O'Connor. Good pass again, but... Not accurate enough, I'm afraid. It's going to be an icing. All right, most of the players have been in that air end, but now we're going to see a face-off back in the Durham end. Durham, six shots on the net. Air two. And now Durham and air, both back up full strength. And will air get the shot on the net they need and perhaps score to tie the score. Remember, it's 4-3 for Durham Wasps. John Gibson. Number eight. There, at the face off. Durham won it. Stephen Johnson. Still with it. Punched away by Frank Killen. Dave Curl round the back. Hugh Johnson. Good body, Jack. That was a good one. Hugh Cooper. Penetrated in. Ian Cooper turning it into the corner. Johnson going for it. Johnson has it. Johnson in front. Shot. It's still loose. Passed away. It's still there. Doesn't get through. And it's rebounded off the defenseman. 
Marcus Wells will be bounded off, but the puck is now smothered once again by Bernie McCrone. 11 minutes and 17 seconds. Just that one goal separating them. Durham now in the air end. Number 10, Stephen Johnson. Stephen Johnson still there. A break, is it? Steve Slaughter trying to get away but doesn't. Stephen Cooper, slap shot. That bounced over the stick. That one's knocked away by Bernie McCrow. It's still bouncing, it's still free. And the back by McAfee. And Raid is Johnny Gibson. It's still in that air end, Slaughter. Stephen Cooper. He play. The pass, Ian Cooper, just floating it. Taken away by Bernie McCrone. Well, Durham have now got the pressure on again. They've got the one goal advantage. They're keeping the play in that end. But Ayer, as I said earlier, in recent matches have been a third period team. Face off. O'Connor. Andy Allen. Oh! Well, he tried to sweep it away. It bounced over his stick. Could have been very dangerous. Here's a chance. And that one. Only just wide of the top right-hand corner. Well, Durham really keeping the pressure on now. They're not letting air get out of their own end. Here's Tilly again, keeping it there. Oh! That was Paul Smith. Now it's John Kidd for air. Good pass, good chance, seven, kicked away by Frank Pillow. One of the few air attacks in this period, Andy Allen. Going through, the crowd calling for something, they didn't get it. it Ivor Bennett, who was, uh, looked as though he might have been fouled. Again. Pass. Tilly. Lynn Hall intercepted well by Steve Slaughter. Slaughter with a slap shot. Just off the net. A break. Yes, he played it first. Still in play. He still got it. Knocked away out. Lynn Hall, the shot. It's still loose. A good pass. Well taken. Salmon. Salmon again. Salmon in front. It's there. Conway equalizes. Air Bruins have equalized. Salmon did well, but Conway finished it off. So, Salmon did a lot of the work. And there's Conway just over the top. And it's now 4-4. And there's 8 minutes and 46 seconds remaining of this game. Well, they said that they were a third period team. Will they capitalize on that now? Well taken out. Stephen Cooper didn't get the flick through. Play in the Durham end, Dave Curl. Out of the rink. Um, well, a bit of the pressure off now. They've got to, they've got to keep the pressure on now. Ball for the score. The fans up behind them getting very, very excited. Remember the last time they met here? Well, last time they met, it was there, it was 7-7. It's now 4-4. Four, four. 
Down the boards. Uh, taking out Cooper. That is the icing. Yeah. Now getting the face-offs in the Durham end. Durham have had 12 shots on the net, and Ayr have had six. And they've each scored a goal. Well, they've got a face-off. And seven minutes and 56 seconds, Ali Brennan, the bench coach. Ran off the end of his stick. Pass. Stephen Cooper's pass taken by Ian Cooper. And Benny McCone is not going to let anything get away now. Well, seven minutes and 33 seconds now. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, top of the league, remember, Durham in third place. Durham really need it. Durham win, they'll go to the top. Ciotti for Durham, going back towards his own net. That's Tilly. O'Connor going after it, Paul Smith going with Steve Slaughter. I think. So it's back alongside the Durham net again. team. Wait, the whistle. O'Connor has the puck. Waiting. Tilly going down the right. O'Connor trying to tempt John Kidd out of position. Now it's Ciotti. Ciotti. Salmon with him. Slaughter taking him out, but Paul Smith has got the puck. Smith tried to float it through to the centre. The pass, Conway, Kidd on the left. That's Kidd, into the corner. Back in front, there's a chance! Oh, flipped away from in front of the net. Conway to Salmon, Salmon with the shot. It's still loose, Killen doesn't know where it is, but now it's around the back of the net. It's still there. Conway shot off the target. Air really had the pressure on now. Still air there. Right in front. That's big John Kidd in the crease. He's got to get out of the crease. Out come Durham. Black shot. Oh, what a shot. Ciotti snap shot. Oh, here's a chance, but it's offside. Fairly positive. John Kidd. Having a word with Frank Killen. The two of them got a bit mixed up. I think John Kidd's skates got caught up in the drop net at the back of the net. He couldn't get out of the crease. If a player's in the crease, of course, and the goal is scored, the goal does not, is not allowed if an opposing player is standing inside the crease. There's the flat shot. Oh, just off the back of his glove. Well, another face off. Five minutes and 48 seconds. 4-4. Four, four. Durham in the air end. Cooper. Oh, good stop by McCrow, but the puck is still loose. Air have possession. Floating it down, this will be an icing. Must be. There it is. Face off back in the air end. Well, when air are under pressure, they don't waste any time at all. They move it down the rink, even if it means a face off back in their own end. Well, they've been keeping the game 
at very high speed. Well, Huck is still loose, but it's not now. There it is. Keith Franklin, the linesman. Ida Bennett. Bouncing, it's still bouncing. It's out. A floater. Frank Killen decides to trap it. So we have a face off at this end now. Neither of these goal miners are going to make take any chances at all. They've made some good stops, both of them. Perhaps Bernie McCrone, who's been uh, slightly more active than Frank Killen. That's McCrone and the face-off now. Johnny Gibson facing off. It's loose, it's loose! And Killen was on the one side of the net. Dave Carroll. Good pass. Ivor Bennett. Good pass. Wasn't accepted. And that was hard, but the puck is still in play. Not now. It's out of the uh, air end. Curl, neat. Floats it in. Ivor Bennett. Hard check. Durham still keeping it there. Stephen Cooper. Neat. No one spare, Ian Cooper there. Johnson, Cooper, a hard check. It's getting pretty tough. Dave Kell goes forward. And the puck trapped against the boards. I think both teams need a, a breather after that. It's getting pretty tough. Score tied 4 4. Four minutes and six seconds to play of this third period. Paul Tilly, number 18. Alistair Reed only back as far as the point. Lynn Hall still got it. It's still in there. But not now. Neat turn by O'Connor. Tilly going after it. Played, so it's no icing. Slaughter. Good pass. Salmon. Kid. Still there, Slaughter. No one in front of the net. Still there. Still there. Bounced over Johnny Kidd's stick. Still there. This is Conway. Conway with a shot. Knocked away. Still there. And still there have possession. Now they don't. Shot down the ring by Ciotti. And the play's going on. Smith. Paul Smith has possession. He still has possession. Now he hasn't. It's Steve Slaughter for air. They're away. O'Connor there first. He's still there. O'Connor for it for Durham. Paul Smith picked up again. This is Slaughter. Slaughter still in possession, but offside. Well, a few angry looks, but uh, nothing further than that with just two minutes and 33 seconds. Four goals each. It only takes mm, perhaps 10 seconds to whip from one end of the rink to the other and score a goal in ice hockey. could be serious obviously Durham were 
trying to change on the fly. Durham were trying to change on the fly. That means a player coming off, another player coming on. And obviously, one of the players had not come off the ice before the extra man went on, so they had too many men on the ice. Now there is a slight hold-up while the coaches decide what they're going to do. We have uh, just about two minutes and 33 seconds of this game. Right, that's 20 seconds now. Well, they've called a timeout. And now they're back in the game. And this is where it's going to count. There's two minutes on the penalty. And there's two minutes and 33 seconds on the game. So, it's 4-4, and Air have the advantage. A penalty, a technical penalty for having too many men on the ice. Could it be fatal as far as Durham are concerned? Air have scored the last time they had a uh, man advantage on the power play. They now have the advantage again. This is O'Connor, though, for Durham coming out. That looked a wee bit like hooking, but Johnny Kidd. Kidd shot over the top. Puck is bouncing. It's still there. Remember, the air have the man. It's Tilly shooting it out. Giving Johnson something to skate for. First there was Reed, and now... They are taking their time. Salmon dropped it and dropped it. Well, Tilly almost had a chance there to get it back. Salmon, the pass to John Kidd. Find Slaughter. Conway with him. That's Conway going into the corner. Round the back, out in front, and the pass out from Kidd. Just about a minute on the penalty. Well, that come air. Conway taken into the corner, but he still has it. Air in possession. Just to read, that's Conway. In front, number 29, Conway has moved out to the left now. That's Kidd. 30 seconds on the penalty. Steve Johnson. O'Connor there. It's there. And even though Durham were a man short, it was Stephen Johnson and Mike O'Connor who came forward and had Bernie Matone on his toes to make that stop. 21 seconds on the penalty. 54 seconds on the game. 4-4 four, four the score. Well, the referee calling them across from the uh, penalty bench where they were checking on the time. So, Durham still the man short. Air, the power play situation for 21 seconds of the 54. The face off. Well, just a few more seconds ticked away then, and the puck was in motion. So we try again. Ciotti. The way. This is Slaughter. Slaughter with a snapshot. Deflected off O'Connor's skate. Into the corner. Still in there. Slaughter with a shot. Over the top. Johnny Kidd in front. It's a chance. It's there. It's there. Salmon is the scorer. Tim Salmon has got that goal for Air Bruins. And there's only 29 seconds remaining on the game. Well, 
He came around. Coming on the backhand. Through the legs. And it's now. Air Bruins 5. Durham was 4. And there are 29 seconds remaining. That's the Air fans all cheering because their team has only got a last out now for 28 seconds to the end of this game. Well, Alistair Brennan saying, let's get on with the game. There's not much of it left. And they've called a timeout. Both teams are coming across to the benches. There's only 28 seconds remaining. Alistair Brennan telling them what to do. Remember, they've got to re retain possession. Well, they've got 28 seconds, and as I've said, their unbeaten record at home in regular league games is 36, but at the moment they're trailing by that one goal. But it doesn't take more than about 10 seconds to get one in ice hockey, so we've now got 28, 28 seconds left. Alec Gibson, the referee. Will Air hold on? Will Durham keep their record? There they go. Air are going to shoot it down that rink and keep it in the other end. Icing, so the face-off is at the other end. 21 seconds. And it looks to me as though Durham have withdrawn their goal minder. Frank Killen has come out of the net and Durham are going to play an extra forward on the ice. They can do that. So there's the empty net. All air have got to shoot and shoot it down the rink now. But Durham have an extra man on the ice for the last 20 seconds. There's the score. That's the time remaining. It's still there. The tire seconds ticking away. Ciotti out in front. It's over the top. That's two tries they've had. There's still seven seconds left. Well, the atmosphere is now absolutely electric. Those are the Durham fans waiting and watching. And the Air fans are absolutely ecstatic. Seven seconds remaining. An empty net at the other end. Durham playing the extra man, trying to get the equaliser, but they have seven seconds to do it in. The face-off. It's on the net. No, it's not. It's a chance. There's nobody. Look at it. Watch it. It's going. It's going. It's there. Well, Air Bruins have done it. to four. Air Bruins. Oh, there is the shot from the other end of the rink. There it is, bouncing down towards that empty net. And the puck. Did the puck go into the net before the final whistle? That's all we want to know. Anyway, whatever happens, Air Bruins have won. The puck was bouncing down, whether the goal was allowed, and so it's Air Bruins 6, Durham was 4. Durham was lose that fantastic record, but what a great game they've given us. Well, a tremendous finish. To